This is a brief summary of a week trip traveling to the beautiful country of Armenia. My suggested itinerary includes two days in Yerevan and day trips to Echmiadzin, Sivan Lake and City Resort Dilijan, Gegard Garni trip, Horvirap Naravank monasteries and Tatev trip. More detailed information of each trip you can find on my channel in the separate videos. Yerevan is the capital of Armenia and political, administrative and business center of the country, conveniently located to other major attractions. So I used it as a base and had day trips from Yerevan to other tourist destinations by bus. Armenia is a unitary multi-party democratic nation-state with an ancient cultural heritage. It became the first state in the world to adopt Christianity as its official religion. It has a lot to offer for the first-time visitor. Cultural sites and the picturesque places, traditional wine and brandy tasting, delicious national cuisine with famous local bread lavash cooking, the unique Armenian flute dudu crafted from apricot wood and sounded like a wailing voice, soulful and evocative. Echmiadzin is located 20 km from Yerevan and it's a center of Armenian Apostolic Church with the residence of Patriarch as well. It can be easily reached by minibus from the city from the cost of the trip 50-60 cents. Sivan Lake is one of the largest freshwater high-altitude lakes in Eurasia, which takes one-sixth of Armenia's territory. 
The landmark of the area is Savanavank Monastery, beautifully located on the hill overlooking the lake. This trip is often combined with visiting city resort Dilijan, known as Armenia's Switzerland, famous with its mountainous sceneries and mineral spring waters. The Angertsen complex is one of the wonders of Armenian medieval architecture. It includes three churches, underground hall with relic treasures, and a ground passage that leads to the river and was built as an escape route during earthquakes and wars. Gigar Garnitu is a unique combination of Christian and Pagan heritage of Armenia. Gigar Monastery Complex, meaning the Monastery of the Spear, originates from the spear which has wounded Jesus at the crucifixion. Gigar is a cave monastery built into a solid rock. Garni Temple is the only standing Greco-Roman colonnaded building in Armenia and is the best known structure and simple pre-Christian Armenia. The final accord of this trip is the natural monument, the Symphony of Stones, a part of Garni Gorge. The monument consists of huge symmetric hexagon and pentagon basalt columns resembled an organ, which is also referred to as basalt organ pipes. Shaki Waterfall is located on the way to Tatev and it's one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Armenia. It's only 18 meters high, but it's included in seven wonders of the area. The cable car Winds of Tatev is 5.7 km long and it holds the record in the Guinness Book as the longest non-stop double track cable car. Tatev Monastery is located on the large Basal Plateau that has been in use since the pre-Christian times, hosting a Pagan temple, which was replaced with a monastery following the Christianization of Armenia. In the medieval times, the monastery hosted one of the most important Tatev University. And 
the best ending of the day in the Arani wine factory. Learning about Armenian wine, following with the wine tasting. This trip is mostly dedicated to viewing gorgeous Mount Ararat, a sacred mountain for Armenians, described in the Bible as the resting place of Noah's Ark. Horvirab Monastery is famous with the legend that pagan king Teredat III imprisoned St. Gregory the Illuminator here for 14 years. These days the pilgrims can climb down to the pit where the saint was incarcerated, located some 60 meters below the chapel. Arani Cave is a site where the artifacts date in the Bronze Age. The world's oldest winery, the remnants of 5,000-year-old skirt made of straw, and the world's oldest leather shoe make the archaeologists and scientists to believe that the caves were inhibited by people from 6 to 3000 BCE. Norvank Monastery is a beautiful historical place located in the picturesque narrow tall pre crete gorge. It was built by the famous architect Mamik and was the residence of a princess from Armenian Feodal Arbelian dynasty. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like, and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.